G'day everybody, it's me again. Uh, I got this uh, uh, what you call an electric pallet jack here. Oh, it's a Heister lift truck model W40Z, 1800 kilo capacity. Minimum battery weight 136 kilos, maximum battery weight 227 kilos, 24 volts, 200 amp hours. So we've got four 50 amp hour flooded batteries. These ones are absolutely shattered. There's just nothing left in them at all. Um, turn the key on, absolutely nothing happens. Usually that would light up even if you had a few volts left to say that you're below minimum charge. So I have to replace the batteries. Uh, it's kind of funny. Uh, me and Doogie were talking about uh, batteries the other day and uh, forklifts in, in particular. And now this one's come along for a, uh, a fix up, but it's going to be a little, it's going to be a little tough, I think, because things are seized, things are jammed. Um, actually, I don't think I need to get that out. Oh wait, yeah, I do, it's holding the battery in. And that's just, oh, it might be a lock, I might get away with that. I might just be able to turn that 90 degrees and lift it out. We'll see how we go. Anyway, I've got the slings on. A couple of shackles, got the slings, just have to get the fork lift. Lift that out. Too easy. Maybe. Maybe too easy. Depends if that lock is uh, too seized to be used or not. so bad was it yeah I did manage to just turn that lock the right way um, anyway so now I'm gonna have to extract all these batteries we have dead spider um, looks like looks like they just possibly no they can't lift out that's the charger by the way, built into the battery pack so it's easy to uh, it's connected permanently right so the smaller thinner leads are the charge lead there the thicker ones are power main power alright so I've just got to figure out possibly of some kind on a pivot no pivot uh, possibly the hole uh, that's an interesting one interesting one Anyway, we bugger the lifting sling off out of the way, it makes it easier. And I can then see what's going on. Are they pivoted? Looks like... It can't be that one, that's welded. Yeah, I think it does pivot. Yeah, that's going to be a bastard. I am going to have to work on that. But I can definitely see some kind of pivot in there. And then there's these locks. 
but that lock's never going to come up not with this in the way and that's welded to the is it yeah that's welded there welded there welded there welded there that's just the only joint so the whole thing must pivot downwards not sure anyway at least i may be able to get a number off these batteries or a dimension anyway and uh so i might really should take one out shouldn't i really Ugh. Ugh. sulfate Ugh. nothing but it's all dead all right i'll stop the video for the moment and i'll figure out how to get these batteries out and then we'll uh, continue how's that well that was kind of easy all i had to do was cut that bolt there because it was like way overly rusted and uh the entire front flipped open as i said i thought it was the pivot and then to access the lower batteries you can twist that around like that and uh what i'll do is, is i'll just take one out at a time just to make sure i get the wiring right it's pretty simple anyway i don't really think i could get it wrong but uh you never know sometimes people make silly mistakes anyway so too easy um i am going to have to replace all of these because yeah that one there is okay that one there I think I already replaced once before no not that one that one there I replaced once before um, so yeah I'm gonna have to pick up a few lugs because they're shitty so it's gonna be a good opportunity to use the new uh, crimping tool and uh, yeah, I'll pull one of these batteries out, find a spanner. Yeah, that's going to be a task around this joint. Finding anything around here sometimes just is horrible. Um, especially when I clean up and then I forget where my pile of tools are. <laughs> I know that sounds so bad, but it's... Uh... Alex is in chaos. There is actually water to the chaos, though. It's not entirely a lost cause. So yep, three cells per battery, that makes six volts. So I'll just chuck one of them in the ute. Ooh, October 04, and I wonder it's fucked. Um, I'll chuck these in the ute, and uh, I'll get some new ones, and we'll re rebuild this pack. See you shortly. Alrighty, it took me a little bit longer to uh, get the batteries and to sort this out a bit than I thought. Um, I asked the old man whether he wanted me to clean it and paint it and do all that and he just said no, nah, forget it. Um, it's a machine that's going to get bumped and scratched and used anyway. Uh, I personally would have liked to neaten it up. All I did was just clean the random crap out of all the battery holders. Um, these are actually made in USA batteries. They're golf cart batteries. Um, 232 amp hours. Um, 474 minutes at 25 amps. So or 122 minutes at 75 amps that's pretty decent i mean i'd love to have them on my uh solar setup but they're uh, lead acid not agm so ideally you want agm for solar because it absorbs the charge much faster so it's much easier to charge the battery without uh you know you want to get every ounce of of, of solar energy into thing that, into the uh batteries that you can um you don't really want to be stuck there uh you know having current being pumped into the battery and it's not really doing much if you understand what I mean. Anyway, I'll have to go out tomorrow and get a couple of uh, crimp connectors. I only have to replace one. I'm going to put a couple of washers on that. I don't really like that. That looks like it would be a bit dodgy. Um, that'll be fine. Actually, I could even just... You know, have I got enough wire? Yeah, see the length of wire can be an issue. I need to make sure I've got enough wire left over afterwards to, uh, to be able to make all the connections once it's in. Otherwise, I have to replace the wires as well. One interesting thing to note is I do believe somebody has, um, I don't know, really, it's hard to say, but you've got two different size cables. Um, 
I'm not sure if a couple of cables got bad and had to be replaced so they've just completely replaced them with these completely different I realized before it wasn't those ones that I replaced it was that one so it's interesting it's interesting um, but uh, these old things are so bad I think I showed you earlier they're just completely dry sulfation has gotten so bad that they're pushing the plates apart um, so it would be almost a dead short in there by now I'd say if I went to charge that it would just even if I filled it up with water I'd say if I tried to charge it it would just act like a dead short you see the sides bulging out something interesting to note though that the brand new ones the sides are slightly bulging out already so gonna have to keep an eye on that but hey they're under warranty so I can't really uh, cry too much uh, you know as long as they last the year or so warranty that they've been given then that's the uh, manufacturer and the salespeople doing their job I suppose uh, I would really expect these to last in excess of five years I mean they were ten years old and they only stopped working um, about two years ago so eight years out of a set of batteries isn't bad uh, by the way they were $176 each um, Australian so it's not bad this would have been a, at least a five or six thousand dollar machine at one stage I still think it's a two thousand dollar machine especially now it's got new batteries in it and I have used it before the uh, the hydraulics and the uh, drive system in it is, is amazing it's 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 in really good nick the, the machine only has about 300 hours on it if that gives you an idea it's uh, what, what year is it uh, 2000 2003 or 2004 I think the machine was I could be wrong it could be a 99 um, but anyway yeah um, you know it's done 300 hours in all of those years usually these machines get so used that uh, you know nothing on them works anymore and they've got five six thousand hours on them so uh, spending seven hundred dollars to restore a two thousand dollar machine isn't such a big ask I don't think I think it's quite a well quite money well spent um, I don't think we'll be using the machine here ourselves maybe if we get a taut liner and I get work for uh, like basic courier truck work um, then yeah it definitely would happen then for sure um, that would be awesome to have on a truck because you know just no mucking around with manually pumping lifting driving etc um, so yeah that's about it and uh, thanks for watching